12-37 remaining third quarter, 21-21 ball game. The overriding concern of uh, everyone in Buffalo, the status of Jim Kelly out late in the first quarter of play with an injured left ankle. Uh, X-rays were negative. On a quarterback now for the Green Bay Packers, Blair Keel. He's on in relief of Don Mikowski, and he will give way eventually to Mike Tomczak, and then we expect to see Anthony Dilweg. 21-21. Joe Garton is in the center now. Sixth round draft choice in Colorado, number 58. Here's Michael Haddix. Well, that was too easy there, wasn't it? Really it looked was. like Haddix got that hand off and started to run. There was no one there. And he kept running, and there was still no one there. And he kept running, and there was still no one there. You talk about a soft corner. This is a soft corner. He comes out there. There's no white jerseys there. There's no guys. They don't got no guys there. The tackle is ultimately made uh, by Brian Taylor, number 21. He's the son of Roosevelt Taylor, who played in the league for a long, long time. I remember Rosie Taylor. He was a heck of a player. Keel hands it off to Harris. Well, you and I are getting to the age now where we remember the fathers more than the sons. Well, we got another one. Elijah Pitts right there. Remember when he, he played for the Green Bay Packers for this team? Now he's a Buffalo coach, and his son, Ron Pitts, plays for the Green Bay Packers. So you got the father coaching one side against the team that he used to play for that his son is on. Now you talked about mixed emotions. Ooh. And of course, one of the coaches for the Packers is Willie Pete. His son Rodney is the head, uh, is the quarterback of the Detroit Lions. That has to be a tough one when you play against your son and your son's a quarterback. And they play twice each year. Here's Keel with the toss, and that's good to Vince Workman. Gain of three yards. Eleven minutes to go, third quarter. Jim Kelly out with a sprained ankle. By Sekahama has scored two touchdowns, one on an 89-yard kickoff return. Buffalo with two touchdowns off Green Bay turnovers. And right now we are tied 21-21. Third down coming up and four for the Green Bay Packers. Lindy and Fonny said he didn't want that. They came out and got a turnover, and then they gave another turnover in the second half. Whoa! Loose ball still. Who got it? That was a bad snap. That came out of there at noon. I used to have a coach that said, said, don't center that thing. Center it straight out. Don't center it up at noon. That's like if it's a clock, it goes straight up. Look at that thing. It comes straight up. There's no way Keel had a shot. That ball, see, see the center doesn't look because he has to block to his right. So he has to snap that thing without looking. So when he does it, boom, he just snapped it at 12 o'clock. That's Joe Garton, the sixth-round draft choice from Colorado, who was the center on that play. Now after the fourth turnover, here's Gail Gilbert. Fires it short. Cross. Turner. Down to the 23. I'll tell you, the sound of those collisions is in mid-season form today. I think if there's anything when I you know, quit coaching and, and came up here, there's anything that I missed was the sounds and the, the smells of the sidelines and, and I, I think we're getting more and more of them in television now I, mean, I think we're getting more of what it really sounds like down there in the sideline now let's listen to the uh, line of scrimmage now on first down and ten yeah we are that's what it sounds like now if we just had a television set you add something to stereo and surround sound and it's called smell if you could just mix the smells with the sound then everyone could sit in their living room and be in the sideline would you mind if i settle for the sound no 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 you need some stink you got to put add some stink to sound s and s it, 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 it does wonders for the game it's just like it is and then you need grass too this stuff here this is a bunch of blown <laughs> Gardner to the 14-yard line and just short of the first down. Hey, Gardner's getting a workout. You know, he's been probably the leading ground gainer for this Buffalo Bill team, not only today, but in the whole preseason. And he he's had the 50 yards and one touchdown, and, 
And uh, if you have a, a workhorse in preseason, Gardner is the designated workhorse for the Buffalo Bills. And of course, Jamie Mueller, who was a starter last year and is fighting off uh, or fighting with Carwell Gardner for the starting job, did not make the trip because of a pinched nerve. Third down. That's going to be very close. puts his foot down. It mm -hmm. looks like he's spotting it with his left foot. Left foot usually means a first down. It'll be interesting if they don't get the first down. I would bet that the, the Bills would go for it on fourth in this situation. puts his foot down. If it's a left foot, he got. If he put his right foot down, it would have been just short of a first down. Marv, there you got one left foot. Haven't had a lot of good luck today, but that was one one break they got. 8:28 to go, third quarter. Gail Gilbert in a quarterback now. He's the third Buffalo signal caller, and he is sacked at the 24. Bob Nelson got there first, number 79. Now, isn't it amazing how quarterbacks, they can't see from behind, but how they can feel? Watch Gilbert here. Just as he goes, he knows there's someone there, and they can duck under those things. They're going to get them anyway. But Mikowski was telling us the other day that you can stand in there so long, and you can feel them coming, and you just know how much time you have, and you know when your time's up. And I think Gilbert did it on that play. He knew his time was up. Second down and 19 from the 23. Quick pop over the middle, incomplete. That was intended for Butch Roll. Number 87. Uh, this is a tough throw in a crossing pattern. you got to lead the guy. And if you watch this, he's going to throw it right behind him. You see, he's already been there where he throws it. you got to throw it where he's going, too. If you throw it to where he's been too many times, then you don't do what they're doing down there. Third and 19. 7.54 to go, third quarter, tied at 21, just as we were at halftime. Judd Garrett, number 22, is in now. Good defense. It'll be fourth down. That's the number one draft choice, Benny Clark from Ohio State. And that is a good tackle. I mean, that's the thing. You, they're they're, they're going to, anytime they want to throw a pass that short, they can complete it. You see Clark on the top of the screen. He's off there. You got to be off that much. You got to let them complete it. But once they complete it, don't give them any RAC. Don't give them any run after the catch. And that's exactly what Benny Clark did. Any rack. RAC. Any, rack. Yeah, no rack. 35 yard field goal effort now for Scott Norwood. Gilbert will hold. Movement in the line. So bring it back. And that's wide right but the play will not stand it was uh, whistled dead ball start number 60 offense prior to the snap still fourth down we'll see this one right in the middle of the line do the thing there that's okay there that, that's okay and then the the left guard came up you see, the defense didn't go forward. They were just going up and down. They didn't cross the plane. And then the left guard moved, and that, that blew the whistle. That was Dean and Kirkland trying to take a peek. Well, you get anxious. It's hard not to jump. It's hard to stay in that stance when guys are jumping in front of you. Now from 40, here is Norwood. Fifty-eight to go in the third quarter of play. Scott Norwood's 40-yard field goal gives Buffalo a lead again. 